Hey everybody, it's Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing, where my goal is to make you a better detailer. Okay, usually you apply a ceramic coating with a sponge like this, right? But what about these honeycomb grills? I've done this before where you go into each little nook and cranny and it takes forever. Well, one of my local cleaning reps gave me this. It's Car Beauty Pro Synergy Trim. He claims it's been on his wife's car and it's lasted more than a year. So I figure why not save some money on Ceramic Pro 9H? Some people use, I think, these VLP guns or these paint guns from Harbor Freight. They spray on the coating. My concern about that is wasting a lot of product. And so I'm trying this detailed image makeup brush. What I like about this method is once you get your brush primed, saturated, or whatever, um, you're pretty much good to go. You can reapply if you see it's not really working. But I don't know, I just love using these brushes, right? Typically use them to foam up some kind of interior cleaner. Um, it's very satisfying. The results are awesome. You're gonna save your time and your wrist. You could probably do this with all kinds of products, right? Stoner Trim Shine or your favorite trim restoration product, something kind of thick of choice. You could probably do this with Solution Finish if you're not a ceramic coating guy. Stoner Trim Shine or your aerosol trim dressing of choice will do a nice job for you. For this bottom honeycomb grill, I'm just gonna get a little sloppy and then I'm gonna do a, a really thorough wipe down to make sure we don't get any high spots. The good news is with coatings, right? A high spot means you're just protected. The chances of the owner looking down at this part of the vehicle are pretty slim. I've got my plush microfiber brand new. When I'm dealing with coatings, I really like to do that. How about that, you guys? Take a look at this trim. It looks amazing. The before and afters are awesome if you have an extra compound sling or polished sling that you couldn't get off with a steamer. It happens to all of us. Sometimes you tape stuff up. Sometimes you get a little lost in the detail and you forget to tape up when you do paint correction. Detail factory brush, links below. I have no idea if this will last, but it certainly does look good in the moment. What do you guys think? How do you apply trim coatings on honeycomb grill? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Again, it's Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing where my goal is to make you a better detailer.